Every so often, a partnership announcement drops, and it's one you really need to pay attention to. And that's exactly what I think we've just seen with Palantir's latest $200 million deal. Telecom giant Lumen Technologies is reporting dropping $200 million on Palantir's AI platform. Lumen is taking its gigantic network infrastructure and plugging Palantir's AI platform right into it. Lumen's stock popped 6% as soon as the news hit, so it was well received by the market. But the mission for this video is to answer this question. What is Palantir's secret playbook for dominating entire industries? And how does this new deal prove it's happening all over again? To answer that, we're not gonna just read the press release. We're gonna need to find the pattern. So in this video, we're gonna break down three key case studies that reveal Palantir's playbook in action. Firstly, we'll see how they tackled the insane complexity of aviation with Airbus. Second, we'll jump into the high stakes worlds of finance with Swiss Re. And third, we'll look at how they're handling one of the biggest data problems on earth in healthcare. These three, when combined, will give us the full answer. You'll see the clear three-step playbook emerge. And once you see that platform, you'll understand exactly what this $200 million Lumen deal really means for the entire telecom industry. Like a lot of enterprises here, that transformation, particularly of a physical, uh, of physical assets, based company like we are and so many that presented earlier than me, we actually have to transform the hardware. I mean, we're talking about the copper lines going down the poles. We're talking about the fiber in the ground. We're talking about those buildings and what's in them. And of course, like, like everyone in a transformation, we're setting targets for how much cost can we take out. And for me, the, the cost we want to take out is of the legacy equipment and the legacy systems and architecture that uh, is one, old, but two, preventing enterprises and customers from getting into the AI economy. So to do that, we partnered with Palantir, deeply understand the inventory of our legacy network, deeply understand the workflows that our technicians have to, and the activities they have to do to transform that piece, but also using the ontology, be able to understand which order of operations we can go through to transform our network and transform our business. And so using the AI part of AIP, we were able to then have that operational optimization and be able to predict the cost takeout and equipment takeout that we could do over time and set our goals as a company for that transformation. And so this has been incredibly successful for us, but to transform our product offerings and our enterprise customers to be relevant to the AI economy, we had to link inventory to systems, to buildings, but then also to what products have they been, have they consumed from us? What is that era of, what is that era of product? What is the new product that we would like to bring to market? How much money is that gonna actually save the company by transforming? What's the revenue risk and revenue retention issues that we have around that? So we were able to dissect down into the workflow and into our fiber, into our copper, the capabilities of that inventory as we went. As we step forward, really what we're taking a look at is how we automate these workflows. It's fully automated now for us to be able to dispatch technicians to be able to do this and to be able to have them move the customer with zero packet loss. So Palantir has been on both of these steps, one on understanding our network to understanding our customers and three, setting up our transformation journey that we can take our customers through and make sure that um, they can take advantage of the other part of our business, that backbone business, which is building connectivity into the major AI data centers and hyperscalers. And so for, for a telecommunications company and a service provider, the most complex thing we can do is the change is change the way it was always done. Telecom's been around forever. Service providers have been around for a very long time. And changing the foundation of our revenue source into the new model that we want to work towards and the new model that's being demanded from the market required extreme precision, extreme depth into our data, and the Palantir AI platform has fundamentally helped us achieve those goals. Let's start with part one, Palantir's incredible work with Airbus. So put yourself in their shoes. You're Airbus and you have a goal for your new A350 aircraft. You need to build them much faster. How is that gonna be possible without cutting corners or quality or safety? 
We're talking about an airplane made of 5 million individual parts, and those parts are being built by hundreds of different teams spread across four countries. It's a logistical nightmare waiting to happen, and it wasn't that there was a problem of a lack of data. They had tons of data. The problem was that it was all locked up in silos. Every team had its own schedules, its own parts, lists, its own quality reports, but nobody, not a single person, could see the whole picture at once, and that was grinding everything to a halt. But by plugging everything into Palantir's Foundry platform, they created a single source of truth for everyone, and the result, Airbus sped up the delivery of the A350 by a mind-boggling 33%. They actually managed to increase the speed of production. Here is an interesting quote from the head of digital transformation at Airbus. The impact was so fast and so huge that even the people inside the company could barely believe it. So that's part one of the pattern, conquering insane manufacturing logistics. But does this playbook only work on physical products or can it be applied to the world of pure data and finance? That brings us to part two of our answer seeing the exact same playbook at work in the incredibly complicated world of reinsurance with their partner Swiss Re. For Swiss Re, the results have been staggering. Here's a quick fire round of some mind boggling numbers. Firstly, 170% return on their investment for a massive software project like this is an absolute home run. And how fast did they get that return? In just 7.3 months. The entire platform paid for itself in less than a year. That's almost unheard of in the enterprise world. Check out the impact on their actual day-to-day -day work. They cut down the time it took to generate some of their most complex reports by 80%. That's freeing up your smartest people to actually think instead of just crunching numbers. And this breaks it down even further. We're talking about real tangible benefits for the people on the ground. The underwriters save 30% of their time the data engineers building the systems gained a 50% boost in productivity. So we've seen the playbook transform manufacturing and finance. We've seen it deliver speed and massive ROI. But what about a sector that's not just complex, but also deeply human and drowning in disconnected data? For the third and final part of our puzzle, we're moving into a sector that touches all of our lives, healthcare. This is where the potential of this playbook becomes immense. The healthcare industry creates almost a third of all the data on the planet, and yet a whopping 97% of it just sits there collecting digital dust. The potential to do good here to improve things is immense. It's a problem that Palantir was basically built to solve. It's no surprise that Palantir is already working with the absolute biggest names in the game. We're talking about the NHS in England, one of the largest health systems on earth, HCA Healthcare with hundreds of hospitals in the US, and even the Joint Commission, the group that literally sets the standards for hospital safety. When the organization in charge of accrediting, pretty much every hospital calls you a leader in healthcare transformation, that's as strong a vote of confidence as you can possibly get. So let's put some of the pieces together. We looked at aviation, finance, and healthcare, and just as promised, a clear pattern emerges. This is the whole answer. This is Palantir's three-step playbook. First, they connect all the data that's scattered everywhere. Then they scale that solution across the whole company. And finally, they end up transforming not just the company, but the entire industry. It's a strategy that turns a company's biggest mess, all of its disconnected data into a single greatest weapon. The Airbus timeline is the perfect picture of that playbook in action. It started small. In 2015, just 50 users working on one problem. A year later, 500 users. Then it explodes to 4,000 when they launch a platform for the whole industry. And today, over 18,000 users at more than 100 different airlines. They didn't just help Airbus. They built an operating system for an entire industry. That's the whole point. This playbook, this connects scale and transform strategy. It is happening again right now in new industries with new partners, which of course brings us full circle back to where we started with that Lumen deal. It's not just a software sale, it's a chapter one of applying this playbook to the entire telecom industry. We've seen the playbook transform aviation, finance and healthcare. We can see the first page is being written in the telecom industry. So now the question you have to ask yourself is, based on everything we've seen, which industry is next on the list? Most people pour money into ads people ignore. YouTube changes that, it builds trust, authority, and a real connection at scale. One law firm we worked with landed 33 clients in just five months worth $330,000 from their YouTube channel. 
If you run a business, this is one of the most overlooked opportunities right now. Book a call with me below and I can show you how we can make it happen.